Hello, and thank you for joining us. Today, we're gonna to be discussing what a wheel bearing is on a semi truck. I know we use the term bearing a lot, whether it's main bearing, cam bearings, but today we're talking about a wheel bearing. Later on, we'll talk more about different styles of bearing. This bearing here is called a cup and taper bearing. So let's get into it. I'm gonna discuss the construction of the bearing. I'm gonna discuss where the bearing is located and how it rides on the spindle and the hub and actually how to keep up with maintenance on this. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing I wanna discuss is the construction of the bearing. Now this cup and taper bearing comes in two pieces. It's gonna have the cup and the taper bearing. The way that this is made is you have the roller bearings here, the taper rollers that are caged in here by this section of the bearing. And on the inside, this is a fix. This, this is one piece. It's not gonna come apart at all. This directly rides onto the spindle, so that's why it's very important to ensure that you have proper lubrication and proper installation because when you slide these bearings onto that, onto that spindle, the clearance is very tight. So if you're coming in at an angle and you're not even, you definitely can cause it to bind and not, not actually go onto the spindle like it's supposed to. When you're putting these spindles back on, there's gonna be two sets of these bearings. And when I say sets, you're gonna have the, the cone and the actual bearing. When we inspect these bearings, which is actually recommended to be inspected at every 100,000 miles, is you're gonna be looking for discoloration from low oil, a lack of oil, overheated oil. We're gonna be looking for pitting, which is any dirt getting into this section of the, of the cone and the bearing. It's just gonna show a lot of pitting and destroy these bearings really quickly. Another thing we're gonna be looking for, as I mentioned, is any discoloration just for signs of oil that's not, not working correctly or low, low signs of oil, lack of oil, overheating on the bearings is items that we're gonna be looking for. Any kind of scoring, scoring is gonna be signs of discoloration here. Now let's move over to where this bearing is actually located and how it plays its role as a wheel. Now here we have a construction of the wheel cut down. This is the hub assembly cut down, sliced here. You can see the studs. These are where your wheel is actually bolting on. So this is where, where these bearings are actually located. You're gonna be having two of them per hub, one on the inside, I'm sorry, one on the inside, one on the outside. The one that's closest to the axle is gonna be considered your inside bearing. You have the inside bearing, inside bearing cone, and inside bearing. You can see this here. Now these, that cup that we talked about earlier, this, this cup here, when, you, when you're servicing a wheel bearing, you wanna replace this cup here. This is what it's called, a cup. Now that is gonna be pressed into the hub. That's gonna be pressed here into the hub. So when you remove the hub and you wanna replace that race, you're gonna have to get that pressed in. You may be able to use a mallet, but over time it's gonna be easier to start using a press. Now over here is where your wheel seal is gonna be sitting. Here in this section here, into the hub, the outer diameter of the hub is gonna be where this seal is being forced and this is your spindle here. Now, as I mentioned before, the bearing, as you can see, the inside of that bearing rides directly onto that spindle. So if you have any issues with low oil and you overheat it and this bearing starts to overheat, it's definitely gonna damage that spindle and cause some major damage. So that's why it's very important to keep up with maintenance with these items. Now we're gonna talk about that here shortly. As I mentioned, every 100,000 miles, you actually want to remove this and inspect your bearings, as I mentioned, to see if you have not only the correct torque, but you want to look for discoloration and also the pitting. So as I mentioned, the torque is going to be on this outside nut is when I, well, I mentioned that. So you have the outer cup here and the, and the bearing, that's how it rides on here. And if you, if you have, if you ever had a case where you had a burned out, a burned out bearings, it's gonna just damage this spindle. Now, on a steering axle, you can replace the whole steering knuckle assembly, but on, a, for example, a trailer or the axle on a, on a truck, you're not gonna be able to be able to service that spindle if you burn it up. So, inspecting this every 100,000 miles, this, this is how the bearing is actually located. Now, where it's located, it's here, here in the hub, and so when this hub is spinning, it's just actually spinning these rollers onto the race there on this on this outside race and on the rear one as well but the inside as i mentioned is going to be fixed onto the fixed onto the spindle so whenever you install these hubs uh, if you're servicing a wheel seal or you're replacing the bearings 
due to damage or wear. When you put this hub back together, these bearings are gonna be on the hub. So you gotta make sure that you line this hub up correctly on there. Don't force it. You can definitely cause some damage or cause it to bind and you won't be able to get that off. Now let's talk about maintenance. Now I did mention you wanna check this every 100,000 miles. You wanna check the bearings, remove the bearings, but also you wanna check the oil. Now this is gonna be a better practice to do this on a pre-trip. You wanna check for the oil levels on each hub. Now different hubs are gonna look a little different, but this is mostly how they're gonna look. You have a fill line and a, add, a full line and an add line. So be sure to check that daily as a pre-trip inspection is very good practice to get that checked out. If you see any stains of oil around your wheel, you can see that where that oil is actually being spilled out. Definitely get that refilled because this oil is gonna be sitting, as you can see the level of this oil where it says full, it's gonna be right at the right at the section of this hub here. Let's uh, right at the section, the level is gonna be right in this section. So the hub is not completely full. It's just gonna have oil down here at the bottom. So when this wheel is turning, when that hub is turning, it's able to draw that oil up and get make sure these bearings are, are well lubricated. You don't want to overfill it because of course you can cause some leaks. So 100,000 miles, check these bearings out. This is how a wheel bearing, cup and taper bearing, it works on a semi truck. I hope you enjoyed this information. If you like this type of content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, you can call us at 972-225-3017. Thank you for watching and until next time, be safe.